and welcome to the first episode of Honouring Hibernian here on Football Manager 2022. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go over my save so far. As you can see, we're on the 1st of February 2022, so a bit further into the game than normal. But what we're going to be doing here is we're not going to be doing like live comms and stuff like that. Uh, we're just going to be doing the update video so you can keep seeing how we're going to be doing. We're going to have like two or three saves running at the same time so you can keep progress with uh, Hibernian and Arsenal, two of my saves. I'm still working out on who's going to be my third save, but we'll get there. So, uh, as you can see, we're Hibernian. There's a reason I am Hibernian, and it's just kicked into play this last month. Uh, but I'm a bit further into the future than you're seeing. Um, I basically like save it at certain points and do updates and then from the next from season two there are more updates it's not just a favorite one then the season one like it's I think it is this year uh, next season there's like four or five update videos throughout the season um, but there is one reason that I am Hibernian and based on performances and stuff it, it does change my main reason but I'm still very much enjoying it so um, let's go over and look at the tactics we started off with. So we started off, we are playing a three or a five, two, one, two, or as I would call it, probably a three, four, one, two. Um, been, been pretty good this year. We'll have a look at the uh, competitions. So we uh, got knocked out in the uh, Euro, Europe Conference, uh, past fourth qualifying by Siversport, uh, which was Annoying, but it's what it is. Uh, we're currently fourth in the Scottish Premiership, two points behind Aberdeen, five points ahead of Dundee, 24 games in. We won the Cup, or won the Premier Sports Cup, and we're in the... What was this? Can't even see what round this is. What round is this? The fifth round of the Scottish Cup. So if we have a look at... Let's have a look at our transfers. Did I sign anyone? I can't remember. I actually cannot remember if we'd have signed anyone. Let's go to transfer history. So I didn't sign anyone uh, to let anyone go. Uh, just a few players out on loan. And Jacob Blaney are sold for not a lot. He's not that good. Uh, Chris Mueller has just come in. And this is the main reason I was done. I wanted to be Hibernian uh, as an Orlando City fan. Uh, this guy is going to Hibs in real life. On a free transfer, I think it is. Yeah, he's free, pre contract. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is the main reason he does fit into the team in that, uh, like that attacking midfield role, um, that he's currently occupying. Um, so yeah, he's been pretty good there, which has been like the main reason we've been doing pretty well this year. Uh, this. Guy, the person who ends up playing here is pivotal um, and in later episodes you'll see how pivotal that player can actually be. Uh, so we're going to look at the like schedule. So, a lot of games to go through. We started off with a nice 6-0 win against our second team. Doesn't really count. Beat Civil Service 9-0. Lost 2-1 to Nuremberg. Lost 2-1 to Freiburg. Then we played Dynamo Brest in the qualifying and we won 2 1 with two goals for Kevin Nesbitt. Uh I think Brighton 4 1. Uh Carl McGuinness, Joel Newell and Kevin Nesbitt with two more. We then beat Dynamo Breast 4 0 to wrap up that one pretty easily. Um McGuinness with two, Doge with one and Jamie Gullen. First game of the season, we played Motherwell, and it was a 2-0 win. Kevin Nesbitt with two more goals. Um, pivotal goal scorer. We then played Victoria Pleasant in the third round, and I was a, a lot optimistic we could get through them. They held us to a one-all draw at home first game. Nesbitt with a goal. Uh, so it was a bit of a tense moment. But we had a 4-0 win against Ross County, Ross County sorry, in between, with Jamie Gullen and Kevin Nesbitt with a hat-trick. So going into this Victoria Pleasant game, which you can see we got through on penalties, with Kevin Nesbitt scoring the goal. It was squeaky bum time. We didn't play very well, but we got through in the end. Um, so, yeah, we went through to Sivasport. As you see, we got knocked out by 
Uh, we played Livingston, beat them 4 1. Ryan Porteous, Jake Doyle Hayes, Kevin Nesbitt, and James Scott with the goals. Uh, then lost 2 1 Siversport in the home game. Kevin Nesbitt with our only goal. And then we got battered away at Dundee 4 0. It was absolutely embarrassing. Um, we were awful. We couldn't do anything. Uh, ended up taking 4 0 loss, everything that we threw at them. Uh, and then going into the Siversport game. We were all right. We played all right. We conceded four. We did score three. Scott Allen with two and Kevin Nesbitt with one. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough and we did get knocked out on a away goal. Well, no, we actually got knocked out later. But we then came back in September after the international break and beat Hart 3-1. Ryan Porteous, Carl McGuinness and James Scott. Then beat Livingston 2-0. Kevin Nesbitt and Ryan Porteous. I lost one nil St. Merrin at home, which was a, sh- a bit of a, a not great result. Ryan Porter just got sent off really early on, and it didn't help. But the one thing with the Scottish League is I keep forgetting how important rotation is. Even in the second season, I keep forgetting how important rotation is, and it costs us. So we're going to be looking out for getting some good rotation players. Hearts in the quarterfinals 3 1. Ryan Porteous, Scott, and Jamie Gullen. Pardon me. Uh, then beat St. Johnson 4-1. McGinn, Nisbet, Stevenson and Gullen. Uh, it was 2-1 to Rangers. Uh, Nisbet with the goal. Uh, then beat Dundee 2-1. Nisbet and Allen. There's three injuries in that game. Wasn't great. Beat Ross County 4-0. Two for Nisbet. One for McGregor and one for Ethan Laidlaw. Lost 3-1 at home. Uh, away throw to Aberdeen. Nisbet with the goal. Shock. Uh, then beat Celtic, I lost Celtic, sorry, 2-1. Carl McGannis with the goal. Then in the semi-final of the cup, got past St. Johnson. Jamie Gullen with two goals in extra time. Uh, then beat Livingston 4-2 away. Two for McGuinness, one for Scott, one for Gullen. A missed penalty from Nesbitt, but we did get the win. Uh, then beat Dundee 3-2. Nesbitt, Gullen and Scott. And as you can see, we can see a lot of goals. We score a lot of goals, but we can see a lot of goals. Uh, they drew two all with Motherwell and Nesbitt with two goals. Uh, St. Johnson, a loss to St. Johnson, which was annoying. But uh, Melka Halberg with the only goal. Uh, we didn't beat Rangers 1 0. Uh, Scott Allen with the goal in a game where. If it, is this the game I'm thinking it was? Let's have a look. There was one game that was, we were really. Yeah, this was a game we actually outplayed Rangers. And. They just couldn't get anything going, and we d- deserved the win that night. Uh, what did I find that? Rangers won the win. There we go. So we beat Aberdeen 3 2 in the cup final. Mc- uh, McGannis and Nesbitt and Doige with the goal. Beat St. Mirren 2 0. Scott and Doige then lost 1 0 to Aberdeen. Drew 0 0 with Dundee and lost 2 0 to Celtic. So not a great end of the year. Uh, but we were bounced back with a 3-0 winner against Hearts with Hanlon, uh, yeah, Hanlon, Halberg and Nesbitt with the goals. Then beat Dunfermline 3-1 in the Scottish Cup round. Scottish Cup fourth round, sorry. Porteous, Hanlon and Doige. We beat Motherwell 2-0 with Nesbitt and an own goal. And finally, we've just beaten Livingston 3-0 with Porteous, Jake, Doyle, Hayes and Kevin Nesbitt. Now, if we look at the squad, Carl McGannis is injured again. He's just got injured. I know he's out for like 12 months. I think it is. Have a look. Um, history. Injuries. Yeah, damage cruciate ligament major in training. He's out for 12 months, I believe. Have a look. Yeah, 9 to 12 months. Uh, Martin Boyle, who was like, he's like one of our best strikers stuff. He got injured beginning of the season. He's been out for seven months. So he'll be back. And we've just been so unfortunate with injuries. Um, but we've managed to get through. As I said, we are in fourth position. Let's have a look. We're fourth position. Let's get the stage up. Let's look at it fully. So we're fourth position. Played 24-114. Drawn two. Lost eight. Scored 45. So only Celtic and Rangers have scored more. Um, but Dundee, Celtic, Rangers, 
have conceded less than us. So we've got a good goal difference. Um, if I look at the stats, player overview, uh, there we go, player details. No, we'll go player overview actually. So most goals. Um, there you go. So Kevin Nesbitt is the top scorer in the league with 18. I haven't got anyone else close up there, really. Uh, most assist is Iyanis Haji. We've got uh, Chris Caden, the fullback, with seven. Um, most man in the match. Have we got anyone up there? Kevin Nesbitt, obviously. Um, so, yeah, this guy as well, Kevin Nesbitt, he is my dad. This bloke is unbelievable. If we look at his stats, what is it? 21 goal games in the league, 18 goals. This season it's eight, 31 goal games, 26 goals. The bloke's a joke. He is honestly unbelievable. He's got an XG of 22.02 and scored 26. So he's scoring a better than his XG, which is wonderful stuff. Um, so... Yeah, that is going to sum up this first episode. We do come back here at the end of Season 2, because we've only got three months to play. At the end of Season 1, so we're not Season 2, but yeah, that'll be a very long way to wait. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. This has been the first episode of Honouring Hibernian, where we're going to try and take Hibernian to the top of Scottish and hopefully world football. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. My social media will be down in below. Link below, we have my Twitch, my Twitter, my Instagram, all that sort of stuff if you want to follow everything along. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.